Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we will make a stair design in Revit with cantilevered support like this. Let's start. Open the Revit. Select the stair. Select the default 190mm max riser. Okay, select run, draw the stair, okay, go to edit type, properties, change the actual thread depth 2.3, edit type, duplicate, and name it custom stair okay then right support select none left support select none middle support check middle support type pick duplicate and name it concrete support okay change the width to 0.2 meters and the structural depth on run 0.2 and total depth 0.5 meters okay then next okay select the stair let's change the actual run width to 1.5 meters okay select edit type run type pick duplicate and rename the type to 50 millimeter thread open riser okay no sing length let's add a 0 0.025 meters okay okay next Let's open the stair nosing double stainless steel strip. Load into the project. Then open the stair nosing round edge. Load into the project. Go to edit type. Run type, pick the button, nosing profile, select the stair nosing round edge. Okay, for the riser profile, select the stair nosing double stainless steel strip, apply. Then for the materials, thread materials, pick the button, go to material library, AEC materials, wood, look for the mahogany. Okay, add the material, right click, rename, name it mahogany stair threads okay then riser material pick the button go to material library select metal 
and look for stainless steel polish add the material right click rename name it stainless steel polish stair nosing okay then for the thread uh, apply nosing profile select front left and right riser to thread connection select the extend thread under riser apply okay concrete support let's add the material pick the button <coughs> go to concrete and let's select the concrete precast smooth light gray rename and add stair support <coughs> okay apply okay then okay finish the stair let's delete this handrail for now let's check okay let's rotate the wood grain for the threads go to edit type run type thread material pick the button okay mahogany stair threads appearance select the image and change the rotation to 90 degrees done okay 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 next go to file let's create a new family for the cantilevered support select the metric generic model face base open okay reference plane draw a vertical reference plane select the reference plane mirror select the center reference plane dimension make it equal dimension select the dimension and create new parameter name it support width okay next select this reference plane copy okay pick then mirror select the center reference plane dimension okay dimension select these two reference plane select the dimension and create new parameter name it cantilevered support width select the dimension go to label and select the cantilevered support width okay let's change the scale to 1 is to 10 then create a reference plane draw a two horizontal reference plane then dimension select these two reference plane select the dimension and create new parameter name it support depth 
1 ok next dimension select these two reference plane select the dimension and create new parameter name it support depth 2 ok then go to left elevation create reference plane draw a horizontal reference plane dimension select the dimension and create new parameter name it offset ok next create reference plane draw a two horizontal reference plane ok select mirror then dimension make it equal dimension select the dimension and create new parameter name it cantilevered support thickness ok next go to reference level create select extrusion select line let's draw the profile okay same in the other side okay next align select this reference plane select this line lock select this reference plane select this line lock select select lock okay next select this reference plane select the blue dot lock select select lock select this reference plane select the blue dot lock okay select select and lock select line draw a line okay finish the extrusion go to left elevation move this arrow down then select a line select this reference plane select this edge lock select this reference plane select this edge lock okay next go to family types select the support width move the parameter up let's change the value to 200 then the cantilever support width move the parameter up change the value to 600 cantilever support thickness let's change this to 200 and the offset to center of the thread 150 and the support depth 1 change it to 75 millimeter and the support depth to 150 okay let's check the 3d select this object hide element okay select Go to materials. Let's create a material parameter. Name it finish. Okay. Then save. Save it to the desktop and name it stair cantilevered thread support 
save okay load into the project okay peek at the face peek at this face peek at this face peek okay peek peek okay peek Okay, peek at the riser. Okay. Next. Go to level one. Okay, let's adjust the section line. Okay. Align. Select this edge. Select this edge. Okay. Select the edge. Select the edge. Okay. Select, select. Okay. Next. Select the stair. Okay. Go to edit type. Run type, let's turn and check temporarily the riser so we can see the edge of the support. Okay, then align, select the edge of the support, select the edge. Okay, align. Okay, select the edge, okay, go to 3D, check, okay, now let's turn back the stair nosing, go to edit type, select the run type, then check the riser, for the stair nosing okay perspective okay done thank you